Hey everyone, welcome to another video. A couple of weeks ago I did a video on how to build this custom tab view component down here with this add button that floats above it. And I tried to put this in a real app that I'm launching and in the equivalent of this first view and second view, I had a state object that just didn't seem to hold state no matter what I did. So I put this down to a bug and I looked for another way to build this tab view. And it turns out we can actually use the native component and there's a much simpler way of implementing this design. There's still uses for a custom tab view. Perhaps if this design is unique and it doesn't look like a tab view at all, you might wanna use a custom one still. But I'm gonna show you a way how you can build this with a much simpler solution than what we did in the video. So we're gonna to come to our content view here with our custom tab view and we're going to replace it. We're going to take out the V stack and we're going to say tab view, which is the Swift UI component here. And we're going to have our navigation view with the first view in and another navigation view with our second view in. And each of these is going to have a dot tab item. And inside the tab item, we're going to have a label and we're going to choose this one and this label will show the icon and the text in the correct positions because it's inside the tab item there and we're just going to say first and this is going to be house and on our second item here we are going to have a second and we're going to have chart.var so this is our native component and if we run this now we can see what we get and you can see it just looks like a normal tab view and it still works the same way. And we get the native highlighting without having to do this ourselves as well as that's another positive of this approach. And now we want to add the button that floats above here. So let's scroll down to where our button was. This one. And we're gonna copy that. And we're gonna come back up and on our tab view here, we want to add the button using an overlay here. So let's add that in the overlay like this. And if we run this, we can see what we get. And you can see it's in the middle of the screen now. So what we want to do is come to our overlay and add an alignment. So we're going to type comma alignment, and this is going to be bottom like so. Let's run that. And it's almost there. And I think if we change this offset, so let's say minus 10, we can see that now it looks pretty good. So we've managed to recreate that custom tab view. We don't have to add our selected highlighting here. It does all the behavior at the box and I'm no longer getting this bug that I had with the state object. So it's a win-win all around, there's less code. And if you want to add like a custom button here or wherever you might want to put it, you can use this approach and it's gonna be a lot simpler for you. So if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you for the next one.